Hello and welcome to our beauty, lifestyle and fashion show. Corrida Baylor reveals reason for leaving Maven's records. David O declares himself the king of Nigeria after meeting Saudi Arabian prince. Nick Cannon admits he endorsed in crazy antics while married to Mariah Carey. Wet n Wild Beauty Lunch's new limited edition collection inspired by the nightmare before Christmas. And Jennifer Lopez shows Ben Affleck what he's missing in racy silver revenge dress at TIFF 2024. <laughs> And on our trending segments, Nigerian singer Corrida Bello has revealed the reasons behind his departure from Maven's Records. The label he was signed to from 2014 to 2021, in an interview, the Godwin singer shared that he felt the need to re-evaluate his personal growth and artistic purpose, leading him to leave the label. Meanwhile, Bello explained that he had reached a point where he felt like a product solely focused on making money rather than an artist with deeper purpose. He stated, I was at a stage where I started to feel like a product that is just here to make money. You lose sight of what matters when you chase after the next hit. Also, the singer emphasized the importance of introspection and self-discovery. Now, I really don't like it when artists, after years of being under a record label, mm -hmm. when they've now grown and maybe made it to a certain level, mm -hmm. that's when they now realize that, oh, the, the label was doing this one to them, the label. Please, so if backwards. you sign exactly, if you sign a contract, you should know what you're signing. And mm -hmm. to be honest, just be patient. Patience, I think yeah. patience is just one thing I think a lot of artists lack, especially yeah. when they're signed to a label. Yeah. To be honest, these people do a lot of a work lot. for artists. I used yes. to think all these um, labels actually milk artists. I used to be like, mm, these people are so unfair, they make so much money. But trust me. They invest a lot of the money. The money they put into that yes. thing. And then it's also very dicey because what if I put in millions into you and you don't make the money back? Yes, a lot of them don't make the money back. That's why, but you know, and you a know, lot of them, yeah. when they are signed with a record label, mm -hmm. they feel as though they've arrived after a couple of years. Yeah. They don't understand the amount of money they Honestly. need to continue that journey. Yeah. That's why a lot of them, when they leave the record label, you don't hear from them anymore. Exactly. Where have, where, where, where have you been? Exactly. So I think <laughs> patience is really the key yes. when it comes to all of these things. Yes. And then before you sign, you know, in the beginning, there's always that hunger of, yes. let me just sign, I just want to yes. make it and yes. all of that. So take your time. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's 2024. Everybody has grown. Everybody yes. has that foresight now. Mm -hmm. Read, if possible, have a lawyer by your side. Yes. No matter how you know you think oh these lawyers are indispensable yes. have one by your side even if it's a family friend yes read through the contract before you sign and trust me just be patient and learn the business and learn the bi i think i think a lot of them are missing just like you said the business learn of the business the yes it's not just about singing there's yes. a business side to it and yes. it's only record labels with professionals that actually know this they have a whole team that understands exactly. the craft mm -hmm. the, the, mm -hmm. what it takes to make an artist blow exactly. and keep that artist nest and like mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm an artist myself so yeah. but i'm independent and i know how much it takes me if it's i had backing of a big a I have, if yeah. I have backing of a big record so label, go to Mavens, though. they don't. They only sign young Yenzis. Oh, that's true. They don't sign old really? people like yeah, old people like us. <laughs> And on our spotted segment, music star David O has sparked a social media frenzy after introducing himself as the king of Nigeria during a chance encounter with an alleged Saudi Arabian prince in Paris, France. In a viral video, David O is seen exchanging pleasantries with familiar faces before meeting the Arab dignitary. When introduced, David O boldly declared himself the king of Nigeria and proceeded to take photos with the Saudi Arabian prince. Hmm. Obi, I beg. <laughs> <laughs> I beg, but uh, you know, I, I think he likes to hype himself. He up does. Lot, you know? He and does. Then some people are even saying, "Why Nigeria? Why not say you know the king of Africa?" Africa. Yeah. What do you think about it? I don't know because they they invited Rema to come perform at some Arabian wedding or something, yeah. and mm -hmm. you know why didn't they invite Davido? <laughs> So what are you trying to say? I'll just say it. <laughs> Rama Bay did so much money from that wedding. So. Yeah, he did. He did. Ah, David, we know you're the king. We know it's you're... Just, it's just a little bit of hype up. Yeah. I mean, as artists, just like you guys, yeah. you need to hype yourself yeah, up, to yeah. be honest. If nobody does, you just hype yourself and up. I feel like he says certain mm -hmm. things to get a reaction from other people, like Burner Boy, Whiskey. You know, Whiskey is always trolling as well online. So, yeah. David, we know. It's okay. You did that on purpose, right? Uh, yeah, he always does stuff, stuff on purpose. Just to stir up, you know, reactions <laughs> All online. the time. Whatever, whatever works is both. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And on to our editorial segment, Nick Cannon indulged in crazy antics while with his ex-wife, Mariah Carey. Nick has 12 children with various women, including 13-year-old twins, Monroe and Moroccan, with singer Maria, to whom he was married for six years before the split in 2014. He has now said that he would absolutely get back together with his ex. However, he also said, yeah, she don't want me. She's moved on from my crazy antics. 
Nick also said in an interview in August that he hoped that him and Maria could give their relationship a second try. He said at the time, we belonged together before adding he would absolutely get back together with the five-time Grammy winner, adding it would be stupid if they didn't. Since splitting, Nick and Mariah have been co-parenting their twins with the TV host having 10 more children with a total of five other partners. Wow. The kind of should just rest. What's he trying to 13 say? 13 kids. Yeah, but I said it, I think, what's he trying to do with Maria? Does he leave really Maria think, alone. Uh, does he really think that Maria will come back? Maria has passed certain level in her life she's been with billionaires and she's a billionaire herself she doesn't need any canon you cannot she just continue i know right his, his baby mamas one another and i'm sure he will have more yeah. kids yeah, well <laughs> i think that he has ensured he's you know i don't want to use the word on tv but he has really? ensured something down there yeah <sighs> and i think it's actually it's not a bad move for someone who is you know the father of all nations <laughs> And on our new collection, Wet n Wild Beauty in collaboration with Disney has announced a new limited edition collection inspired by The Nightmare Before Christmas. The Wet n Wild Disney Team Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas collection celebrates vibrant colors, innovative formulas and skin nourishing ingredients designed to captivate makeup and Disney lovers alike. Arriving just in time for Halloween and the holidays, the limited edition collection features makeup innovations such as tubing mascara, glitter body illuminator, and sticky serum primer. The full collection will be available in store and online at key retailers including Walmart, CVS, and Ulta. And on Spicy or Not, all eyes were on Jennifer Lopez on Friday when she arrived at the Toronto International Film Festival in a racy Tamara Ralph gown for the premiere of a new film, Unstoppable. Lopez showed off her famous curves in the dazzling design which featured silver mirror embroidery and completely open sides tied together with black velvet bows. Friday marked the actress first red carpet appearance since filming for Divorce from Ben Affleck last month. Despite producing the film, Affleck did not attend its premiere. Ooh, Jenny from the block. I love her. I love that she's giving this nothing can break me attitude yes, yes. i don't know jenny is so strong so strong how do you keep breaking up and having divorces Girl. and you're just showing up and showing out like i've been on social media and she goes for events mm -hmm. there's no form of sadness there's no form her. of cry like it's like she's just there to slay she's used to it like i think i think so i think so i actually think so because she's slay the red carpets and her on this dress have you seen have i you saw seen it I, but I did see something online on social media as a guy that normally calls out people for photoshopping Okay. And he had a picture of Jennifer Lopez in the same dress and he zoomed how mm -hmm. the whole wall was bending because she literally photoshopped her waist, her figure. It was crazy. I don't care. <laughs> I think, I think J-Lo looks incredibly for fantastic for her age. Yes. So if she's for everybody photoshops, come on, everybody yeah. edits their pictures. So I don't think I'm going to give into that. But <laughs> Jenny... I've never seen any woman as strong as that. I don't. Is that woman ever in love? Because she's never in love. Like I don't. I don't understand how she moves on so quickly so and quick. she's slain and looking so beautiful. And I thought Ben Affleck would have actually touched her a little bit because you know they have like mm -hmm. history. I yeah. mean, her and Ben Affleck are like. But you girl. know one thing with women when we move on, trust me. When we break up with you and when we leave, trust me, we'd have ended that thing a long, a long time, time ago with our You're emotions. Right. We are You're dead. Right. You're We're right. just living and it's just looking like oh, it just happened fresh. You're right. And emotionally, yeah. Actually, there was also a video on social media where it showed them arguing at a, some kind of award ceremony. Yeah, and I saw it. You saw it, right? Mm -hmm. And then someone, someone commented saying, "This is when we knew the relationship was over." Oh, with. Babe, you don't know anything. But I think that's just it for us women. We break up a long time ago, and then it looks like oh, we just broke up and we're moving yes, on. Yes. But that's it. Don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. Thank you.